Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alex, if you're new here. I do mum and lifestyle videos and I post about once a week vlogs or information type things. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider hitting subscribe. I'm just gonna do a little vloggy catch up today. It's been a few days between one of these. I'm just um, cooking. I'm just in the middle of making a chocolate caramel slice for my husband for Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. What do you guys make for Valentine's Day for your husbands or boyfriends? I, I usually um, cook something. I do something sweet for my husband because I know that you can't go wrong with food really. And he likes caramel slice. So that's what I'm making. Um, so yeah, what do you guys do? Anyway, so today is Tuesday or Wednesday. Can't actually remember, but it is one of those. And Jed's birthday was last Friday. Um, I was planning on doing a bit of a vlog of his party, showing you his party planning set up and all that. But last Tuesday, last week, I ended up getting really, really sick with gastro or food poisoning, one of those two. And I was like out of action for a few days, just feeling really, really bad. So by the time his party rolled around on the weekend, I just, it was sort of like, let's just get through this. I didn't record anything at his party. I did take some photos, which I'll put up on my Instagram if you want to have a look at them. I haven't gotten around to sorting through them yet. But um, yeah, I didn't really get to do any of that stuff. So um, today, I'm just sort of, the last few days I've been trying to catch up, sort through his birthday presents, make some sense of things our lounge room which was previously quite tidy with the toy situation is becoming like not cool see we used to have everything in here now it's just spilling out everywhere and i don't like that like i like to be able to put things away um i don't like having toys hanging out all over the place and because we don't because we are in a because we're in a townhouse we don't have like a designated toy or playroom we have to kind of live with all this stuff around us now let me show you i'm just going into the garage this is the pile of presents that i have to sort through and find a home for so jed received lots of lovely presents but like so much stuff so yeah now we have to find homes for all these things um so his party went well we had a lot of people there um it was a nice warm day it was about 30 degrees it was hot actually um but we had the pool up at the clubhouse where we had the party and so people swam with their kids and it was a short two-hour party um no it was good it was short and sweet um but the last two days i've kind of been feeling a little bit down i think because of the build-up and then kind of just like i don't know i guess that's it just the build-up maybe um but on the other hand i'm really happy oh and i suppose because i was sick last week i might still be just be kind of um it was just a big week um but i'm glad that it's over with like i just am ready to get back to a bit of normalcy because i'm someone who goes a bit extra with the party planning so it does take up a bit of time um so i've just got my first order for some party bags if I haven't told you guys, I've just started up my um, side business again. Well, it's not really a side business because I'm not working anywhere else. My little business making wedding favours and like party bags and things like that. I make 
wedding like activity bags for kids and I've just got my first order for one or for six actually so I've got to start working on that um, so yeah that's pretty much what's happening apart from that I just need to get my house back in order again um, I'm gonna start working on making some photo albums getting my photos sorted and making some new product samples for my business. So I've got plenty to do during the day. And um, yeah, that's what's happening. So yeah, the last couple of days I've been feeling really fatigued, finding it really hard to keep my eyes open while playing with Jed. So I think this afternoon he and I are gonna go out and do something, maybe go for a swim or he can have a go on his splash mud outside or I might do something like that um, and then this week I'm gonna make his uh, sorry a 9 to 12 months essentials video to show you guys so I've got some good things planned to show you for that um, it's popped a button I sound really glum and tired sorry it's not very inspirational is it you know what one of my new years resolutions needs to be nearly mid-feb that doesn't matter is to be a tidy cook because you saw nothing i'm so messy i just really need to work on tidying up anyway um i need to get this base in the oven i need to get this cooked by the end of the day cut up and boxed for Lindsay for a surprise for Valentine's Day and yeah I'm gonna say bye now and I'll check in later tell you some more stuff that I'm doing Okay, we've got our melted chocolate. We've got Jed here having some afternoon tea. Some banana with almond butter. We've got our melted chocolate. Okay, so here's the slice. I've just got it out of the fridge and I'm cutting it out here because Whimsy's going to be home soon and Jetty's in the middle of playing in a sand pit. Aren't you, bub? So now I'm just stacking up the slice in layers so I can wrap it up and put it in this bag. Hello. Ooh, please excuse the lack of makeup. It's, uh, it's quarter to nine at night and Lindsay's just in the shower. And I just wanted to show you my updated wrapping of his Valentine's Day present. Updated wrapping. And it's um, sitting in the lunchbox. Got my card. I forgot to pick up the envelope, so that was silly. I've got my card and my prezi and in here i've got the massage voucher and a little note saying that i've booked um got babysitting for us so that's my valentine's day prezi what do you think
I think it's quite sweet. Now I know some people think that Valentine's Day is just a hallmark money making machine and look it is a money making machine but that's also kind of cute and I think particularly when you have children and you might make a bit like less not less of an effort but have less time for like dates and romance and all those nice things it's kind of good to have a little prompter in the way of Valentine's Day to kind of just get you to do something a little bit romantical. So I'm all for it. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight now. Lindsay's in the shower, as I said, and I'm gonna watch a Grace and Frankie while he's in the shower. morning everyone happy valentine's day i hope the day is treating you well so far um i'm just i've just put jed down to bed so jed's been really screamy whiny and clingy and unhappy this morning and it was just starting to do my head in i don't know if he was just um overtired or I don't really know but when I just put him to bed he was screaming which he never ever does so quite unusual for our little Jed so that's gonna be a big test for me as a mum to, to deal patiently with the screaming and he has just recently started sort of tantruming this little ones you know like this morning I was um, playing with him with some crayons um, which, you know, he is too young for drawing and crayons, but he was playing with my pen. So I thought, okay, we'll get out the big fat crayons and he just wanted to eat them and just stuff like that, like tantruming when I don't let him eat the crayons. So I don't know. I just, this morning was a little bit testing for me. Um, it's getting to the stage at the moment where I'm really wishing that I had some extra help with Jed. It, it does get hard day after day to be in the same routine and like doing the same things all the time which is why it's so important to me for us to get out of the house um, regularly to just keep things fresh um, so today what I'm gonna do is when Jed wakes up we're going to go to Kmart my favorite place no joke I love Kmart and I'm going to look for some new baskets um, for storage for his toys because I think I showed you before we've just got a lot of toys at the moment since his birthday and I need to, somewhere to put them away in the lounge room. Um, shelving isn't an option here because we can't attach anything securely to the wall because we're in a rental. Um, so it can't be anything that he could like pull down on him. So baskets on the floor. Anyway, I might take you along to Kmart and we can see what's there. Um, and that's all I really wanted to say. Just a little chit chat really. So I will, yeah, I'll probably see you at Kmart. Okay, bye. <laughs> now ever since Jed's party the garage has just turned into an absolute pigsty because I just started up my business again I'm in the process of also tidying up this shelf and beer to put away drink dispenser to put away it's just a total mess I need like a solid few hours to work on this but I don't have a solid few hours. So I'm just gonna chip at it now while Dad's having a nap and see what I can get done. I'd rather be doing something else, but this is what I have to do. I need space. I can't work. I can't work with this, but I can work with this. Hello, my pretty. I'm just following my rule for 
focusing on one area at a time rather than flipping all over the place and already I feel pretty accomplished with what I've been able to get done. Mm. There were a couple of leftover party bags. This is what the party bags look like for the babies. Pretty happy with that. Um, so this isn't me complaining or anything because I'm grateful to have a roof over our heads. But I am so excited. I'm just projecting forward. I'm so excited to one day live in our own house where the garage is the garage and where we can have a big laundry where our laundry is and where I can have an office where my computer is rather than having our garage be a laundry ironing room office sewing room I'm just excited you know just projecting forward a little bit anyway better get back to it because this garage is not going to clean itself so sorry this is uh all over the place this little loggy thing but I just keep thinking of things to say mm. so yesterday I had Jed's 12 month checkup at the clinic with the maternal health care nurse which went really well they just check um, like their eyesight um, hearing um, they look at their body naked check things out and then they just ask you how you're going with feeding and all of that thing type of thing and I was talking to the nurse because Lindsay and I are going to start trying for our second sometime this year. Anyway, I was chatting to the nurse because I'm still breastfeeding Jed three to four times a day. And although you can get pregnant while breastfeeding, it happens a lot. Um, you can also continue breastfeeding while you're pregnant. Um, no issue. There is a slightly decreased chance of conceiving while you're breastfeeding. So she was telling me like if you want to put all your eggs in one basket then you'd probably stop breastfeeding before you tried to get pregnant if you're in like a hurry which we're not in a hurry but I am going to be 36 this year which is you know getting on a bit so I don't want to delay things or slow things down but nor am I ready to stop breastfeeding Jed because he's still into it and it, it's still really good for him. So. What I am going to do though is cut out the one during the day and I'm going to do that this week or next week. I am actually getting a bit tired of that one. I just find myself thinking, oh, we have to do that again. When I cut that feed out, I think I'll feel a little bit weird or even have a little bit of guilt. I don't know which is silly I suppose but I guess it's just that like another little milestone of sort of progressing towards not feed, breastfeeding him anymore and like when we start trying I might um, decrease another feed as well um, because yeah I as as happy as I would be to keep breastfeeding him I don't want to do anything major to jeopardize our chances of it being easier to fall pregnant so we'll see what happens anyway procrastination is real i need to get back to the garage okay goodbye okay hi so the time is quarter past 11 jed woke up at 10 45 so we had about an hour and a half and now we're ready and we're going to go to kmart and get our storage Yay. sorted Yay. jed's waking up much happier happy baby happy mummy so we're going to go now let's go find the boxes Okay, so here are the baskets. These might help us. I think they're a little low. I wanted something deep. These are okay. A couple of them would look 
okay along the wall because they're sort of like flattish you know what I mean Always carry snacks. Um, yes. This is hard, Jay. That's ugly. Hi, okay, we're home from the shops. Um, we didn't end up, I didn't end up getting any baskets from Kmart because nothing was really right. I got this little shirt for winter for Jed. It looks absolutely enormous at the moment. It's a size 12 to 18 months. And um, it's a good noise, Daddy. Hi. Look at you walking along, you clever thing. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks miles too big, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so I ended up taking Jed to Spotlight and I found some baskets. So I got these um, and so they tick a couple of boxes. They're nice looking, they're rectangular and they're quite large. So I think that they will work well against the wall. So I'm going to try them out and while Jed naps I'm just going to redistribute some toys and things and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, bye. So um, I've just changed for the 50th time today into something a little more comfortable. Jed's just gone down to sleep and I've sort of finished playing around with putting his toys away. Um, I'm not really that happy with this as a storage situation but it is a little bit better than what it was before. So I've just got some big, bigger toys in there. Uh, sort of a rummage pile of smaller ones there. Um, books and then over here in his in these bins down here I've just got some more stuff that he can come over and and reach out of so I guess what I'll do is just um, like switch them out switch things around to keep it fresh I've also taken out a few of the babyish more babyish toys to send them upstairs into a big storage basket that I have up there. I have not even sifted through this pile of new, new toys, so I don't know where I'm going to put them all. But um, that's that's it. I mean, the baskets are okay. It helps a little bit. So my low battery light is flashing, so I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, I hope this was interesting a little bit i guess if you're still here it must have been but thank you for watching please um hit subscribe if you're not subscribe subscribed already my next video is going going to be um the nine to twelve months baby essentials and also non-essentials so i'll mention some stuff in there that we bought that we um need it have so thank you again for watching and um i'll chat to you guys again soon okay bye now to deal with this.